Hey guys, so I've just got two new amazing guitars, uh, both by Fibonari uh, out in Hungary. Um, and I designed both these guitars uh, to do very specific things. So I thought there might be an interesting video in it. So this is the one I ordered first, and as you can see, it's a two humbucker guitar with a fixed bridge. This bridge is absolutely beautiful. Fibonari make all of their own uh, hardware. Or, or almost everything on the guitar is, uh, is, is made in their workshop. And uh, it's also got this cool thing going on. So it's a set neck guitar with a three aside headstock. really wanted this one to do is to be a little bit like a kind of Les Paul type guitar but I've never really been used to the way those Les Pauls feel under the right hand or in the body or the way they sit I'm, I'm just a sort of S type kind of guy so this is kind of my version of that whole idea and what I was hoping would happen was that these fixtures uh, would give me uh, more sustain, more tuning stability, and just be an amazing, amazing rhythm guitar. And I think this is what this is, it just absolutely roars. Whereas if I, uh, if I show you this one, so this one's similar in that it has the hardtail and the humbucker, but because it's a hollow body, um, it just sustains a lot when you play those rhythm parts. But of course, it's also got these incredible pickups on them, uh, Fibonari uh, humbuckers. It's got that kind of uh, creamy hardtail quality in it. And it means you can do all the bending, all that bendy stuff without worrying too much about the tuning compensation that happens. So this guitar really fills that empty space in my current uh, lineup of instruments. And I just can't wait to use it on some recordings. Just love the way it spanks that kind of It's amazing. So this thing is the other guitar that I had made um, by Fibonari and as you can tell it's pretty much a traditional S-type. Now, I'm an HSS guy, which means I like a humbucker in the bridge, nine times out of 10, uh, but I was really lacking that instrument that would do uh, the kind of, the all single coil, more traditional uh, Strat sound. <laughs> Also, I wanted something that would have a little bit more of a radius and while I normally go for jumbo stainless steel frets, uh, these frets are, are slightly smaller, I think. I, I think they're nickel as well, but I can't, can't exactly remember off the top of my head. Yeah, so the idea there is just so things are a little bit um, easier for bending and articulation. It's a really smooth and comfy feeling neck. Yes, yeah, so it's perfect for things like blues or the sort of 
the Hendrixy Rocky vibe. Um, but yeah, I, I really love it. So more observant of you might have noticed that this has uh, some gadgetry there. It has a switch which activates uh, a noiseless circuit on uh, the pickups. Now, why wouldn't you want this on all the time? Well, just by making it noiseless, it, that it just dulls some of the uh, top frequencies. And so we've got the option if we're in a pinch, uh, if we're in a really noisy environment, that we can use that, but we can also not use it if it's not a problem and still sound amazing. I just thought I'd show you what the noise of the switch does. Uh, so here's with it on. And uh, off. As you can hear, it just sort of gets a little bit more sparkly. Um, that's not to say that the noiseless um, system doesn't uh, have a kind of tonal quality of its own. Um, but it's just letting more highs through when it's off. So again, it's, it's, uh, it's what's right for you at the time. <laughs> You'd have to listen really closely to notice any difference, to be honest. Uh, one tone control, because I kind of feel more at home that way. I like a global tone control. And then uh, the volume doesn't have a treble bleed inserted. I felt that I wanted something that would kind of kill off the tone a little bit as I I rolled the volume down. So I have other guitars with treble bleeds in, but I felt this one uh, could do with that particular uh, dip in tone as you drop the volume. I just, uh, yeah, I just like that as a sound sometimes. So yeah, it just sounds uh, incredible. I particularly like the out of phase positions with these pickups. You can ask for these pickups to be kind of more vintage voiced I have other guitars that do uh, a much more high octane thing. Uh, this guitar is all about kind of expression and just a kind of uh, vintage vibe. It's, it's absolutely stunning, this beautiful Roadmaster FB. So I hope you enjoyed that video about my new guitars. Um, they are rather lovely and I'm looking forward to getting to know them a little better. As always, please, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give us a like or leave a comment and uh, do subscribe if you're feeling very, very generous. So do let us know which one you like best, uh, whether it's the traditionalist or the high gain modern monster with some, again, it just blows my mind how beautifully they do this. The amazing set neck and fixed bridge. Anyway, cheers.